my friends from here in the Holy Land and happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah is really one of my favorite holidays and it's not just because of the presents or the festivities, but it's because I think that Hanukkah has a deep message that is out to teach us so much and specifically in our generation, we have so much to learn from the message of Hanukkah. We all know the story of what happened. The Greek Syrian army came into Israel and unlike the story of Purim where wicked Haman wanted to kill the Jews, the Greek army didn't want to kill the Jews. They wanted to assimilate the Jews or Hellenize the Jews to take away the faith completely. And so they outlawed learning Torah or keeping the Sabbath or performing circumcisions or keeping kosher. And they did all different things to try to get the majority of the Jewish people to side with them and turn their hearts against God. And unfortunately, as we've learned, it worked. For most of the Jewish people in Israel, they looked at the Greek army and said, wow, look how strong they are. Look at how progressive they are. They were so uh, strong when it came to sports and very progressive when it came to arts. And they were big and strong and mighty, the world power. And so a lot of the Jewish people, even in Israel said, okay, let's side with them. This is our future. But there was a small group of people led by Judah the Maccabee, who said, no, we don't care how big the army is. We don't care what a world power the Greeks are. We have our faith in God and nothing could have us go against God. And no one could make us do anything against our God. And so this small group of Maccabees fought against the huge army and won. It was a miracle all this small group of Maccabees had was their faith. That's all they had. But with that faith, they outdid a huge army of a world power. In fact, the word Maccabee in Hebrew stands for Mi Kamocha Kashem, who is like you, O Lord. They were representatives of God here on earth, and that's why they won. And so they went straight to the temple and saw it destroyed and desecrated and they removed all the idols and they put everything back in its place and they built a new menorah and they found a tiny little jar of olive oil which they lit the menorah with. And miraculously, that olive oil lasted for eight days until they were able to go out and find more olive oil. And so today what we do by lighting the menorah is that we keep this message alive. That with our faith, with our love for God, with our hearts that know truly that there's nothing in this world to be afraid of because with faith and prayer and good deeds, we could outdo anything, the greatest armies. Hanukkah comes to remind us that. And you'd think that the, the, the festival of lights would be lighting a huge menorah and making huge bonfires, but in reality, the menorah is very small. And the candles that we light on the menorah aren't huge flames, they're small candles. Because God is showing us a tiny candle in the darkness can light up an entire room. And a tiny act of kindness or word of prayer or good deed or giving charity or prayer could change the entire world. It's with these actions that some might perceive as small that we could overpower armies, overpower the terrorists, and really, really win over a free world based on faith and God and values. And by lighting the menorah, we're bringing a part of the temple into our home and saying our home is now our temple. This is a place where we will worship God, where we will pray to God, where we will do those values and good deeds that God has commanded us to do. And with each good deed and with each prayer, we're lighting another candle and making our home and lives and surroundings into a temple. And so, especially now, as everywhere we look, there's terrorism and murder and people trying to destroy these godly values that the Jews and Christians stand for, the Judeo-Christian values. We have to light these candles. We have to light up the world with faith, with prayer, and to always remember, not to be scared of anything. 
because with God in our hearts, we can accomplish everything.